Hey everyone, my name is Amanda. If you're new here and if you aren't new here, welcome back. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a newborn essentials video, but do a little bit of a twist on it. So I'm gonna do it a little more vlog style and show you the products as I go throughout using them every day because I'm sharing with you products that I use on a daily basis with my almost three month old. So almost out of the newborn stage, isn't that crazy? Anyway, she needs a diaper change right now. So we are gonna go to the diapering essentials. All right, I knew little miss needed a diaper change, but I did not know that she really needed a diaper change. So I'm gonna take care of that and then I'll walk you guys through this. All right, I have dealt with the diaper change. Adeline's right behind me and I have my diapering basket. So let's go through my diaper essentials. I love Hello Bello diapers. They have cute prints and it's a subscription so it just comes to your door it's super easy and you can customize like if you want it every four weeks to six weeks depending on how fast you go through diapers it might even have a longer than that option and then you can always skip it or whatever if your friends give you free diapers or something like that which happens a lot for me actually because a lot of my friends have babies too and so they'll have extras in a certain size and they'll hand them off so um but yeah so you can always skip it or whatever i just like the convenience of having it come to my door but I will say something about the subscription. Oftentimes I forget to add extra wipes to the bundle, even though I might need them. I tend to go through more than four like packs of wipes, which is how much comes in the bundle um, before I go through like the set of diapers that they gave me. I go through more wipes. So in that case, if I forget to order Hello Bella wipes, I really love these water wipes. They're also just really gentle. So really like those. And then... My kids hardly ever get diaper rashes, but if they do, I have this um, Walita diaper cream and it works great. This isn't new with my newborn. This is actually from my son because I find that actually diaper rashes tend to happen more once they start solids, at least for my own kids. So I haven't had to use this yet on Adeline, but I use this on Addison sometimes. And I've had this for like over half a year. So yeah, it's not a huge issue for me. But when he has had bad diaper rashes, this really helps him. Um, and so newborns can struggle with diaper rashes too. So I would definitely recommend that. And then for newborns specifically, these Frida baby um, Wendy's, I had to think of the name, work great. These actually did work better for my son than for my daughter. I think the root of her like gas and issues have to do with more food sensitivities than my son, where my son probably just had to work on like flexing his muscles. But they're worth a shot for your baby because yeah, if your baby's just having a hard time loosening up those muscles so they can go to the bathroom or so they can let out gas, this is going to be a lifesaver and it has helped my daughter just not as much as it did with my son. Then the last thing that's in my diapering bin that I use all the time, let me grab it, is this thing. It's called a happy tummy. It has Velcro, you wrap around their tummy, and there's a little sachet of like herbs and things that you can take out, put in the microwave for 15 seconds, just kind of like a rice bag, and you can Velcro it around their waist. If your child struggles with gas, tummy aches, any of that kind of discomfort, this is amazing, especially to help them fall asleep. So both my children have had tummy issues, both different tummy issues, but they both have had tummy issues. And I've used this on both of them and love, love, love it. Then there's a few more things in my basket that I'll just let you guys know. They haven't been essentials for me, but I know other people like them. So I think that they're worth mentioning. And that's nipple butter. And this is the Earth Mama, which I think is a really popular one. Um, I haven't had to use nipple butter. This is actually from my son and the ex it hasn't expired yet. So <laughs> hopefully you don't think that's gross. Um, it expires this coming October, but, um, yeah, I still haven't gone through all of it. I've just never really needed nipple butter. And I actually use this as lubricant for the Wendy's. So I do get use out of it, but not for its intended use, I guess. Then I know some other popular products for gas are these Highlands Colic tablets. Didn't really notice a big difference with this, but I know some people swear by them. And these gas drops, again, didn't notice a huge difference, 
but some people swear by them. All right, now, since I had to take off her leggings anyways, I'm just gonna get her dressed in jammies because we're done going out of the house for the day. But I wanted to mention, this is gonna seem so random. No, I do not just put this on her body. Babies are supposed to have peach fuzz and that would be super, super weird. So I don't know if you can tell, but her middle toe, she's wiggling. Um, her middle toe got one of my hairs wrapped around it. And this is what the nurses are trained to use if you get a hair wrapped around it and you can't cut it off with scissors. So this might just be a good thing to have on hand, just in case. All right, both the kids are napping. I thought I would show you some mama essentials for postpartum that I use often. So in here we have, I <laughs> didn't want to drop it, manual breast pump. I prefer this over an electric breast pump, just personal opinion. I actually really hate pumping, but this is better. So if I do have to pump, I like this manual one. Let's see, it's Lance no. And yeah, I like that a lot. And then, uh, almost dropped on my floor. Okay. Haka. This is also great when you're still like, um, when your milk production is evening itself out then, and you have like an overproduction, this is great. You can just plop it on one side while you're feeding on the other and rotate and you're going to collect milk that you can put in the freezer, use for a babysitter down the road or whatever. Um, and then... <laughs> Up here is a big water bottle. If you have a hospital birth, take home the big water bottle that they give you. Those are great. If you don't have a hospital birth, um, make sure you have a big water bottle, like one that will last you all night so you don't have to go downstairs and refill it. That's a lifesaver. And then I should just mention while we're here, Boone Nourish Bottles are my favorite bottles. I really like them. They have replacement nipples that you can make sippy cups too. So my son used them as a baby. Now he uses them as a toddler with a sippy cup attachment. And my daughter has some without the sippy cup attachment. So these are my favorite. The silicone like squishes in as they eat it, which helps reduce air intake. And yeah, I really like them. Okay, I also feel like we need to talk about what I take as supplements when I'm pregnant or nursing or any of those things. Um, Pro Vitality is what I take. This is a really great multivitamin, but it also has carotenoid um, in it, carotenoids, and it has something called Tranin, which has grain oils, which we don't get because we don't freshly mill our grains anymore nowadays, um, which helps with energy a lot and stuff. So I take that. It also has a salmon oil in it, but when I'm postpartum, I take extra salmon oils because it helps with inflammation which can help with like blues and hormonal swings and stuff um, if you're helping your brain inflammation and all that. So I take two extra salmon oils every day on top of the one that comes in the Pro Vitality. Then I also do a protein shake. And if you don't wanna try New Life out, I also like Ritual's protein shake. Um, so that's another good option that you can do. I personally don't like their vitamins as much as the Pro Vitality but I do think that they make a pretty good protein shake. And I think protein is just really important when you're nursing or pregnant or really any time where you just need to help fuel yourself. It's really nice. I notice a huge difference in energy when I take my protein shake versus on the days that I don't. All right, I actually need to throw this in the wash because my daughter spit up on it earlier today, but a boppy. I don't use this that much for breastfeeding actually. I don't know. I tend to lay down or like lean back when I'm breastfeeding because I have a fast letdown. So that just helps with the baby swallowing it more. And I kind of do that until they're more sitting up almost. And so I don't get a ton of use out of this for nursing, but what I do use it for is tummy time. Um, this is a great thing to prop a baby up on, on their tummy, or you can even lay them back on their back, put them on the floor and they are good to go. So I'll, you know, put a play gym over this or just maybe some toys out in front if she's on tummy time or something. And this is great. But yeah, like I said, it needs to go in the wash. So I'm going to go bring this upstairs. If you're wondering where I got the adorable co cover, I don't think you're gonna be able to see this, but it says Evan Thread. So that's the brand. I'll try to remember to link them down below. They have a ton of really cute covers. 
and I just got my boppy used off Facebook Marketplace so I could justify spending more money on a cover. All right, I'm about to clean the bathroom, but I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Little Miss just woke up from a nap early. Um, a baby essential is a baby carrier. This is the Love Secure Bloom Scout. I don't know if you can get a very good look. Here's my messy mirror, because again, I need to clean the bathrooms. Um, but that will give you a better look of the back. It's like a waist little thing and then this little adjustable belt up here love 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 this carrier i have one more carrier that i love for newborns it's the wallaby shirt i'll show you that tonight all right we are about to go on a walk and this is the wallaby shirt i was telling you guys about it's so great you can actually nurse while the baby's in it so easily i think technically you can do that with like a lot of baby carriers but this one actually makes sense. Her head's like at the right level. I don't really have to adjust her. It's great, I love it. And you just wear it with any outfit. It works as a shirt, whether or not you're wearing your baby. Um, it works as a shirt. So it's so nice for like running errands or doing any of the things. You can put layers on top and it's just amazing. I love it. She loves it. I think it goes to like 12 or 14 pounds. So it's specifically for newborns doesn't last forever but she's three months old basically almost and she's still wearing it my son only got to wear it for I think like two two months or something and then he outgrew it but she's had a longer run in it and she loves it as well hey everyone I just got done tucking Adeline in for the night and there was a few more essentials that I wanted to share with you so I grabbed them out of her room before I put her to bed um okay First things first, in this basket, swaddles. Yep, swaddles in a blanket. <laughs> Just making sure there was nothing else I had in here. Um, and I do have one sleep suit in here. But swaddles are, for me, such an essential. You can use them as a blanket, you can wrap them up as a swaddle, or you can use them as like a burp rag or something. I actually got rid of my burp cloths this time around because I just use whatever is closest to me. So whether that's a rag, a cleaning rag, or a swaddle, or whatever, um, I make that work going and having like getting a specific burp cloth to burp the baby or to clean up spit up just doesn't work for me. A lot of times I actually end up using wet wipes to clean up messes. Um, okay, next thing, this is a little bin full of binkies. And I specifically wanted to mention, let's see, let's see. Okay. I bought a set. I think she has one from the set. So these aren't matching colors. But see how these three are all matching colors. And then there's one more somewhere. But basically, I bought a set of four binkies from Bibs. That's a try it set. So there's like this round rubber one that looks like that and then there's a silicone one that looks like that and a rubber one that looks has like that kind of tip so a different tip and then one that's silicone that has this tip and I still recommend that because that um babies have different personalities and different preferences both my kids have been breastfed and my son loved um this shape but the rubber one. So he liked the like bulb at the end. And she prefers this flat nipple one. So both breastfed by the same woman, obviously. And they had different preferences for binkies, even though I tried her out on the one my son liked first. This is the one that she ended up going with. So that try it out pack was great because then I already had four different shapes, some different textures mixed in and i could shuffle through them and see which one she liked right away because i know babies don't always like all binkies so i would totally recommend that pack from bibs or if you know of any brands that you prefer the look and style of um they might have a pack like that too i would just recommend getting a try it pack before you buy like five or something you know binkies that aren't gonna work potentially Okay, next one. This one's a popular one. You probably already know about it, but I have to mention it because it is an essential. The Nose Frida. 
Um, my daughter had RSV and this is so crucial if you have a newborn that gets sick, especially with RSV because that's a lot of mucus. And also <laughs> with that, um, a nasal spray is super, super helpful. So this works, but this and this together really work. So definitely recommend a nasal spray. It just, if any of the boogie, like boogies, boogers <laughs> um, are really like sticky and hard or they're just like really wanna latch onto the skin, this is gonna help loosen it up and make your suction work better for you. And this works way better than a bulb. So one thing I will say is it wasn't working for me great um, just one time. Like I just couldn't get it to work. And I didn't notice that like you don't just put it in, you have to snap it and you have to hear like a snap kind of. So if you get it and at some point it's not working great, make sure that you've snapped this in all the way because that really affects the suction. Um, but yeah, this is such an essential and it works like 10 times better with this. So recommend both of those. Um, and I think that that is it for my newborn essentials. I keep it pretty minimum. We have some other things that we use regularly, but not enough where I would consider them essentials. Um, they're just kind of handy. So that makes up all of my newborn essentials. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.